Hello everybody, my name is Aaron and we are going to fix a boot to black screen with mouse on this PC right here. Yes, that is a motorbike in the background. So this thing boots. That's all, that's it. I can do anything I want on this keyboard. Control, Alt, Delete, no. Alt, Tab, nothing. Alt, Tab, four, nothing. Shift five times to activate sticky keys. Absolutely nothing. So we've established that I that I can't get anywhere with this. If you can get in, if you can get something to work here, then you're miles ahead of where I am. So if Control Alt Delete brings up Task Manager, you can go to File Run, type in Explorer.exe, then you can get your Windows back, and then you can work on fixing it from there. I don't, you know, could, this could be a million reasons why it's doing this. That'll just get you two steps ahead. Then you can start Googling from there. If uh, Control Alt Delete does not work. You can try and activate sticky keys, which is shift five times. What that does on a system that will actually work is it'll bring up a dialog box saying sticky keys are active or something like that. Now what you can do is you can go in and replace that dialog box with an actual command prompt. So when you hit shift five times, you get a command prompt, then you can start logging in and doing stuff from the command prompt to fix this. So in order, if you want to know how to do that, make sure you hit up the video. I already show this. It's also effective on hacking Windows. You can get into Windows doing this method as well. But unfortunately, I have absolutely nothing, so I'm gonna restart. First thing that you'll want to do is boot into safe mode. So we're gonna hit F8 as soon as we get past the motherboard splash page. It's just my TV messing up, it's no big deal. F8, F8, a million times, okay, we made it. So first thing you wanna do is try safe mode. Um, I kind of already know that safe mode isn't gonna work, but if you make it in safe mode, then you can troubleshoot from there because you're actually in Windows. Uh, if you make it into safe mode, safe mode is where it doesn't load all the uh, vendor specific drivers. So you might have a driver issue. You might have something along those lines. Also, you can scan for viruses and such. I believe in in safe mode you can. Yeah, absolutely nothing's working. So um, we're going to reboot into repair computer. Pound on your F8 key as right before Windows starts loading go any further I just wanted to say in this menu you can hit up the uh, disable automatic restart on failure just in case you get a blue screen you can also disable that disable signature driver enforcement now you'll only need to do that when it tells you to you'll say oh this is the right driver I've had that a couple times um, last no good configuration that's the most common okay um, you want to at least give that a shot at least once before you start getting into crazy troubleshooting that may solve the problem. It kind of just rolls back to your settings before. That's the way I understand it. But it, you know, if that fixes your problem, then you didn't really have much of a problem to begin with. So we're going to go to repair computer. Might ask you for a disk, might not, depending on how you installed your, your uh, program. So we want to start up repair. That seems pretty obvious, right? It's not booting right. We're going to repair the startup. Well, it's fine. See, this message is telling me that everything's fine um, because the system actually boots. It's after it's booted that it starts to load Windows and there's where our problem is after the boot sequence. So the next thing to do if safe mode doesn't work, repair boot sequence doesn't work, the next thing to do would be hopefully you have system restore activated. So we are going to Go to System Restore. Next, we're going to find the, what I would say, the latest date, the furthest away from the problem that you had, which would be that one. Latest, earliest date, I guess you could say. Finish, once, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now it's going to sit here for like 20 minutes and chew on System Restore. System Restore is going to bring back, as best as it can, asterisks, all of the basically your system from prior. Now, Mac does a lot better job of this than Windows does. I hate Windows System Restore because something always breaks every single time I try this. But hey, as long as you can boot into Windows, we can get things fixed, right? Because who wants to completely reinstall Windows? Absolutely nobody. And of course, it failed to do a System Restore as well, so we're pretty much stuck. Now, this tells me that Either the virus is extremely awesome and chewed away at some of the system restore qualities, or we're actually having a hardware issue. Um, so, since, whoops, what happened? Did it restart on me? 
I've already tried system restore on every single restore point and it doesn't work. Now you can automatically go to your system image recovery if you have one that you've created. Sometimes it automatically creates for you. However, that's gonna roll, basically roll you back to a certain date that you created the image. So you might be months behind years if you even created one at all. So apart from going to command prompt and typing in a bunch of random jazz, trying to get something to lock out, we're gonna do a memory diagnostic. That should be your next one. Usually when RAM goes bad, that's what we're gonna be scanning. Usually when RAM goes bad, you get blue screens, but hey, you never know. Windows isn't always um, the most predictable thing ever. So we're gonna do that. Restart now and check for problems. So it's automatically gonna boot into mem, uh, mem test program where you can test memory. There are mem test programs on the internet. Mem, mem test 86, you can download to a disk and boot to that and then uh, do your own test if you want. And so it's gonna sit here and do the test. It will tell you if there's a problem. If there is a problem, you have to take apart your computer. You have to test every RAM stick individually, find out which one's a problem, um, remove it, see if you boot and everything runs fine. And if that's the case, then you're back in the game. You just have less RAM. You gotta order some, yada, yada. That's a whole nother video. But uh, we're trying to see right now if we have a RAM problem. So I'm gonna let this test complete. So my RAM tested everything was fine so you can also test the hard drive integrity from your command prompt and uh, you'll want to test your hardware for sure to make sure that your hardware is not the problem because that's the biggest pain in the butt is trying to troubleshoot hardware uh, when you think it's software from here we need to figure out what partition you're going to scan to check for errors now um, it's not going to be c colon slash because the letter C is kind of only relative to the situation it's in. D-I-R, C colon, it's not even found. As of right now, there is no C technically according to this. So you'll have to do a D-I-R check directory. So D-I-R, we think it's E, E colon. Okay, and that's gonna show there's Windows, there's program files x86, you see that? So that's our right partition. So now that we know that the partition, your C partition is really called E, we're going to type C, oops, we're gonna type E colon to change directory to there. Then we're gonna type CHK for check and DSK for check disk. Now this is going to allow you to scan the hard drive from command prompt without having to purchase any other software. There's, it, there are other softwares out there that you can use, but this is free from Windows. It's fairly decent. I mean, it's not the, the greatest thing ever, but it'll give you an idea if it's your hard drive that's a problem. Uh, slash F slash R for your arguments. I believe it's fix and repair. I don't know the exact terms, but that's the one I always use. Hit enter, cannot lock the current drive. Do you want to lock it? Force dismount, yes. and now it's checking. And as it goes along, it's gonna spit out its uh, report and we're looking for bad sectors as well. That gives you a good indication that the hard drive is having problems. So if you do find bad sectors, um, you've got a hard drive problem, I'd recommend trying to image or copy all the information you can off the drive immediately as usually these things get worse. And also, now that you know the drive is faulty in one area, you can't really trust it to uh, not be faulty elsewhere. I'm a network administrator and when a hard drive starts to go on the blink, we don't give it a second chance, it goes in the garbage. It gets wiped and goes in the garbage. So make sure you back all your stuff up. It's not going to get better, it will only get worse. So if your drive does check out and everything's good, then we're gonna move on to this step, which would be to refresh Windows. So right now we're going to scan the operating system for defects and errors that could be fixed by this uh, recovery, by this Windows recovery that we're using right now. So we already know what partition our Windows is installed on, and that is E and da colon. So there's E colon. Now I'm going to type scan, or sorry, S, F C space forward slash scan because I can spell scan now. All 
right? And it's just gonna do its own thing. And then at the end, it's obviously gonna tell you what's what. And hopefully we'll be able to fix this thing. There is a system repair pending, which requires a reboot to complete. Restart Windows runs. Okay, so if you get that, just follow it. I'm gonna restart and I'm going to uh, run it again. Okay, so we've rebooted and I did the SFC scan now again and I get the same error because there is a flag in the boot file that the system needs repairing Which I guess technically it does because it's a big dang mess right now. So we are going to actually put in another line of uh, command here Which will force the system to boot and so we're gonna give that a try right now. So I changed to the E boot dir e colon slash and off win dir e colon slash windows and I hit enter there it is let's see if it works this time all right so it's got to be the uh partition that your windows is installed on obviously I went with c as default just to give it a try it didn't work so we went with e which we figured out was our Windows partition in the first place. So now we are scanning. Apparently it's gonna take a few minutes. And that's how you get around that. So hopefully this fixes our problem. Or will it create more? Dun dun dun. And of course, to keep this the worst case scenario, um, Windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations. So according to this, our system is running just fine. However, we know it's not. So, we gotta move on to the next step. So we did it guys, we made it in. Let me show you how I did this. When we went to command prompt and we were running all those commands to uh, the SFC to scan the file system and uh, check for integrity problems and it came up clean, then um, what I did is I took this hard drive, which is the original hard drive, and I imaged it onto a new hard drive that's in there. Now, this hard drive um, actually had errors on it that did not show up in the um, check disk that we did. What happened was the check disk would run and it reported everything was fine, but when I ran the check disk for a second time, um, it went really slow through one part of the, the hard drive scanning it and I figured out that the drive was clicking at that point. So what I did is I imaged this. Ooh, it's just making sure everything works. I imaged this onto a new drive and during the imaging process I got an error because it reached that part of the drive that was a problem. So I let the program and the drive spin down for about 20 minutes and then um, I retried and told it to ignore all errors. So there is parts of this operating system that are missing because they were in the bad part of this drive. However, it is running right now and we can do our integrity checks and everything from here on out. We may have corrupted some piece of data. I just don't know what piece of data that is. And uh, we're gonna go from there. So when I started this thing up and because I had previously done a system restore um, to try and fix the system, it uh, said that I was restored correctly. So we are back a couple of days from when the problem started occurring and the problem started occurring on the hard drive. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. If I miss anything, leave it in the comments. Um, but yeah, this drive is working. I brought you through basically, I think it's like seven steps to get your system to work. If you still can't get it to work after these seven steps, it's a lot more in depth and it's probably gonna take a lot more time so you should probably just reinstall your operating system. And uh, that's about all the information I can give in a general sense about this problem. Anything else is delving into specifics, which are um, a lot more complicated and a lot more time because I can't do a video about every single specific instance. So there you have it. Yes, this system does have some weird viruses on it and stuff that I clean out right now. But we did it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, hit up the channel. See you next time. Ciao. Boop.